there's this quote that I love that is like sometimes you win sometimes you learn and I feel like okay there was a little bit of winning and there was a lot of learning and that's great you know So I actually felt that after we did a tour in 2019 and the original plan was to record it in the summer of 2020 but Covid happened and I moved back to Slovakia for a bit and uh, the band was still in London and we haven't played together and all of this and the everything was a little uncertain so I kind of postponed it I was like when the time is better I'm gonna record this and as the time has passed I wasn't sure actually like if it's still relevant but I was really happy about how it sounded then and I cannot let COVID make this music disappear from the face of the earth, you know, like it's got to be on record. So I kind of restarted organizing it a little bit and I'm so happy that I did it because I, I do think that it's going to be really nice to share this with the world. The album recording was great. I was so happy to be in that studio. It was so nourishing to come from traveling from, from place to place to just know that we were going to be in the same place for three days and that that place was just unbelievably beautiful. Amazing studio. Ignazi is an, an amazing sound engineer to work with. It was just a joy to be able to make music in that, in that situation. First of all, we had the three days. Like usual, usually you have like one or two days. So that was more chill. You are not in so much stress, you know. You don't have to hurry. You have more time to do other things. It was great working with these guys. I really enjoyed it. For me, for me, it was very, very chill, very good recording. It is an interesting experience combining that sort of folk mindset and the jazz mindset. They, we, did, we did a couple of new tunes that were distinctly more tied to the folk aspect. And I was given a, a fresh challenge in a sense, though, of like trying to meet these two different headspaces together in a coherent and enjoyable and interesting way. It was an interesting challenge, but like it was one that was definitely fun to meet. It was lovely to collaborate with Maria on the string parts. She sent me the whole album. I listened to them a lot and had to think about where best to use the strings and so that they had, they brought something to the music and didn't take anything away from the already like really lovely writing, which she'd written for the horns and for the, vo the, the vocal lines in one of them as well. So in the end, I think it was a nice collaborative uh, process. And uh, especially with one of the tracks we recorded, I used to play it. I used to, a lot. I used to play the piano part, and always really enjoyed it. So it was really nice to to get stuck into this music again, and um, in in a slightly different way. I enjoyed playing Maria's music because it has the similar vibes that I love playing, such as Latin and Brazilian, Middle Eastern, and also it be inspired by Slovak folk music that was new for me but I enjoyed the, the process of learning that new type of music for me. And I personally play many different genres of music, so it was fun for me mixing all the different types of music together in her music. During the recording process of the band, I was finally hearing this music in the form it was most likely going to sound like on the record and I thought yeah there's some really really nice opportunities here to add all of these epic vocals because I feel I felt like Maria's music it was it's just such a dynamic um, such dynamic compositions there's really tender moments but there are huge moments as well and I just felt like we could make it even bigger basically those big moments I am very, very excited because they were one of the most beautiful arrangements of voice that I ever sang. Normally it's very difficult to find a balance between having backing vocals that are useful or having too much information and this was perfect. It was the perfect arrangement for the song and it lifted the energy so much. <laughs> Hey 
Maria, the way she leads the band, she wants everyone to bring their own personality and their own musical and cultural background to the project. And everyone knows that, and that makes it feel like you all have really important roles as individuals and that you're really coming together as a group to make something bigger than all of us individually. And musically, there's a lot of freedom. She really wants the light to shine on, on everyone's individual musicality. And so it's a really, really free musical experience to be in the band and getting on with everyone really well and, and having such a good vibe on the tour really, really helped that too, I think.